So take a moment to think about this question. Um, how, how do we find the molar mass? How do we find the molar, ma molar mass first? Or what is the molar mass here? What is the molar mass? And then we have to figure out, okay, what about sodium hydroxide? What is sodium hydroxide? How do I find um, the chemical formula? So let me just bring up the periodic table for you real quick. And then we'll go over. Um, so remember, the, the chemical here is uh, sodium hydroxide. So how will we find the molar mass uh, for this problem? What is the molar mass of uh, mass of sodium hydroxide? So take a moment to think about this question. Again, everyone in the chat, uh, feel free to answer this problem or help me out with uh, what to do in this problem here. Right. So what we have here is the molar mass of sodium hydroxide, right? Where we first we have to we have to figure out okay what is sodium hydroxide. So remember, sodium hydroxide comprised with it's a it's a, it's, it's base first yeah. first of all. And we know that because of the hydroxide, right? So obviously it's made up of sodium, which here uh, sodium is a metal, so it's going to be on the left side of the periodic table. So Na here is our sodium, so I can say it's Na. And I'm going to write the charges here because we need to write the chemical formula. So it's Na plus, and then we have hydroxide. Hydroxide doesn't actually exist on our periodic table. Hydroxide's a polyatomic ion, so it's one of our special ions here. Uh, hydroxide is represented by oxide, which is an O, the hydro, which is the H, the hydrogen here, and then it has a charge of minus one. So Na plus and OH minus. Um, I don't, the charge here is one plus. This here is one minus, which means I will need one of each, um, each, uh, each, um, each element or each polyatomic to satisfy the, um, the 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 coefficient. So, which means therefore my um, my chemical formula here is NaOH for sodium hydroxide. NaOH. So, so once we have NaOH, what we can figure out is what is the molar mass, right? So, when we talk about this concept of molar mass. Remember how, um, in order for, like, for us to calculate molar mass, we could use stoichiometry, but in this case, we're not going to mass or um, moles here, right? So in order for us to calculate molar mass, all we have to do is we have to look at our periodic table and find out um, the atomic masses of uh, those substances. So I'm looking for sodium here. Sodium here is 22.99. Remember, the bottom number, the bottom number here um, is uh, the atomic mass, 22.99. 11 is the atomic number. Atomic mass is 22.99. So basically, I can break this down into, so I can say the molar mass or big M of NaOH equals, so the, the molar mass of Na, so the molar, the big M of Na, which is 22.99, so I'm going to say it's, or it's equal to basically the M of Na plus the molar mass of oxygen, one oxygen atom plus the molar mass of of a hydrogen atom, right? So I'm breaking this compact compound down back into its elements. So this here is kind of my formula to find molar mass. I'm just adding all the molar mass, all the molar masses of the elements together. Sodium, like I said before, it's 22.99. So I'm going to put here 22.99, and this is in grams per mole because that's what uh, molar mass is measured in, measured in. Oxygen, we have a molar mass of 16, as you can see here, 15.999. I'm going to assume that this here is 16, 16 grams per mole. And the hydrogen is obviously 1.008, right? So grams per mole. Hydrogen is our first element of the periodic table. So it has an atomic mass of 1.008. Uh, 1.008 grams per mole. Which means, therefore, we can add all these numbers up to get our total molar mass of sodium hydroxide. So let me do that for you. 22.99 plus 16 plus 1.008 would give me a grand total of 39.998. Or you can basically say 40 grams per mole. But I'll write down for 39.998 for you. 39.998 grams per mole. And if you were to observe um, significant digits... Um, as you can see, I picked 16 grams per mole, so I can say, therefore, this here equals 40 grams per mole. And that, that will be our atomic mass, for sorry, our molar mass of sodium hydroxide here. <coughs> so, let's see what they did here. The molar mass is given grams per mole for 
uh, he's given grams grams per mole or grams per mole it is defined as the mass of any chemical element in grams divided by the subs amount of the substance moles perfect so um, good good concept here uh, we know that um, sodium hydroxide is NaOH so mass of this is 22.99 15.99 plus 1.0079 Therefore, our solution here is 39.996, 39.998 is close enough. You can round it to 40 because I have two significant digits. In this case, they took five, so, that, so therefore they have to write 39.996. This here is a perfect solution. Perfect solution and analysis here. This here is our first, uh, first question here is correct.